The subject of our discussion is psychological and psychophysiological research of the attitude system of students for technical and humanitarian specialities. The situation that has gradually formed in students' professional training has demanded significant changes in the approach itself towards the most important psychological entrance qualifications for acquiring technical and humanitarian specialities. We can outline several reasons that made us create the research concept and methods. First of all, the percentage of technical speciality students and graduates not going to work in the speciality is rather high. It is important to say that often students with high level of general and nonverbal intellect get into this group. Secondly, according to different research works, the students of both humanitarian and technical profiles have psychological difficulties during studies the reason for which is not always explicit. Thirdly, the approach itself towards the specialist training has changed. We should definitely mark education computerization, especially in the technical profile higher educational institutions. Thus, the psychological entrance qualifications requirements for specialities acquiring change. And at the last, the methods, questionnaires, some tests projective uh, methods do not always help psychologists to find out the most important natural prerequisites for specialities assimilation. We assume that the study of a person's significant attitude system will allow to get important data necessary for students' occupational guidance. The fundamental problem of attitude psychology is to develop psychodiagnostical methods of research. Many authors think that people's real attitude become evident in their expressive behavior. The fact is explained as follows. Expression is difficult to control and to be conscious of attitude is difficult to verbalize. That's why a person has to use expression for their presentation. The aim of this article is the psychological and psychophysiological research of contents and the extent of the technical and humanitarian profile student's attitude system. According to the aim, we have designated the following tasks. To design and test psychological instrumental computer method for technical and humanitarian profile students needs system research. To test the psychological instrumental computer method for motivation and emotional components research of technical and humanitarian profile students' psychic attitude. To study specific peculiarities of psycho-emotional state needs, instincts, defense mechanisms, general and non-verbal intellectual level, technical and humanitarian profile students' temperament structure. The research object includes 120 students at the age of 18 and 25. The students' training in the field of pedagogical and psychology and engineering took part in the research. Experimental research consisted of two stages. St. Petersburg Higher Educational Institutions, students' diagnostics using blank methods, laboratory experiment on the basis of the Russian State Pedagogical University named after Gerson Psychophysiological Diagnostics Laboratory. For the psychological research of the attitude, we have used psychomotor differential method, original development by Tamanov, Kamenska, and software by Petigorsky was used for investigation of motivational and emotional components of the student's psychic attitude. Theoretical basis for the method is Sechenov's theory, who substantiated the reflectory nature of the man's movements and showed the role of muscle controlling response movements in space and time. Mississius, conception, social psychology researches data, nonverbal forms of behavior, proxemic studies of the man's space behavior. Psychomotor differential method realizes instrumental testing of emotional reaction characteristic features with the help of the gesture reaction of a hand to auto stimuli. A hand move moves in the progressive reactive manner along sagittal surface of body without sight control. Immediate reaction coded in the form of electric signal is registered. 
To make a movement, the tested person held on the handle of the lever, fixed on the stands and could move his hand. The device is connected to the computer, a TV is also included into the psychodiagnostic complex. The researcher was in front of the computer monitor and selected stimulus material from the computer program that appeared in front of the tested person on the TV screen. The tested person was shown different stimuli on the TV screen, one after another, as opposite to the standard diagnostic method, and was offered to express his attitude towards it by gesture distancing. Thus, if the tested wanted to express his positive attitude towards the stimulus on TV screen, he moved the lever towards himself as much as he liked it and fixed his decision by pressing a special button on the handle. If his attitude was negative, the person being tested could move the lever backward at a different position depending on the degree of neglecting the stimulus and fix his decision by pressing the button. The tested could also express his indifferent attitude towards the stimulus. It should be noted that the designed computer program allows the images on the screen visually approximate the tested or move away depending on the degree of admittance or non-admittance of the given stimulus. The next two slides show the example of approximation moving away of a unit stimulus of Sondi test and color square from Lusher's method. The file with the test data for each unit stimulus of the diagnostic program contains the information on the numeral row and the scheme of motor response. The next two slides show the examples of the most typical schemes of the student's motor responses to the stimuli. Please look at the example of the humanitarian and technical profile student's motor response scheme. The analysis of the numerical rows and motor response scheme allows to pinpoint the following parameters concerning each particular stimulus. Overall duration of the motor response to each stimulus, overall duration of the subject, the degree of the stimulus admittance, non-admittance, the possibility of each stimulus ranging according to its significance for the tested, motor response, amplitude, maximum, minimal, average, the number of trans transitions through the initial position of the lever changing the sign of reaction from positive to negative and vice versa. Time for decision-making about the movement in definite direction without changing the sign of response. It was determined by the motor response scheme. Time of the movement in a definite direction after taking a decision. It was determined by the scheme. Associative experiment method, original development by Tomanov, Gordienko, software by Gordienko, for students need system study. The associative experiment contents is based on the needs concept in a person's motivation suggested by Maslow. The method represents 98 words stimuli distributed inside the seven groups of needs, 14 words in each group, psychological needs, security needs, belonging and love needs, self esteem, communication, learning and self actualization. A computer program fixing the latent period of the associative response to each word stimulus simultaneously given into the earphones of the tested and on the TV screen has been designed. In response to the stimulus, the testing participant sitting in front of the TV screen was to pronounce into a microphone the first association thought of. The latent periods of the associative response were stored in the computer database. The significance degree of each definite word for the test it was determined by the analysis of the time needed for thinking over the associative response. For psychological research we used garbles of test series, a questionnaire and four projective subjects for students dominating instinct studies. The test series was presented in standard variant and in the psychomotor differential program. The questionnaire by Pluche Kellerman Conte, Lifestyle Index, in Kamenska's adaptation, researching the students' defense mechanisms. It was presented in standard variant and in the psychomotor differential program. 
additional methods group Ravens test progressive matrices aimed at the student's general and non-verbal intellectual level study. Lusher's test for investigating the student's psycho-emotional state at the moment psychological examination. It was presented in standard variant and at the beginning and at the end of testing and in the psychomotor differential program three times. Saunders modified method for students' inclination study. It was presented in standard variant and in the psychomotor differential program. Basing on the materials of the experimental research and their correlation with literature data, we have come to the following conclusions. It is found out that the humanitarian profile students, unlike the technical profile students, are characterized with having medium indices of general and non-verbal intellectual level to a greater extent. Technical profile students are characterized by having an in average higher general and non-verbal intellectual level. The slide shows us the differences between the two groups of students. Students of the humanities, in contrast to students of technical courses, are characterized by the dominance of altruistic and reproduction instincts. Engineering students characteristically show a dominance of altruistic instincts in connection with research and dignity ones. This slide illustrates the difference between instinct profiles of students of humanitarian and technical studies. Students of the humanities, in contrast to students of technical courses, are characterized by the presence of regression of the three leading ego defense mechanisms. Also, apparent is that a lower percentage of students with a high level of overall intensity of psychological defense mechanisms can be seen. Engineering students are characterized by production and intellectualization as one of the leading ego defense mechanisms Recognizable are higher proportions, both individual and group average, in the total intensity of psychological defense mechanisms. The slide shows us the average assessment of psychological defense mechanisms of students of humanitarian and technical studies. The found out humanitarian and technical profile students' attitude objective parameters, studied with the help of psychomotor differential method, allowed us to characterize specific differences in the attitudes character according to the degree of their expressiveness, differentiation, stability. It was found that students of the humanities, in contrast to the students of technical courses, are characterized by a longer period of time to decide on certain terms and implementation of the movement towards the chosen relation pole after decision making. Using the example of Saunders' tests in the format psychomotor differential, a general tendency to react to stimuli are shown. Please look at the slide that shows us the results of the Saunders' tests according to the method of psychomotor differential among students of humanitarian and technical studies. It was found that students of the humanities, in contrast to the students of technical profile, are characterized by a wider range of indicators of an average degree of hand movements when reacting to different stimuli. This slide illustrates the difference between the humanitarian and technical profile students rate with specific levels of the hand response average amplitude. It was found out that humanitarian profile students, unlike technical profile students, are characterized by a larger number of hesitations from one attitude sign to the other in the process of decision making, and less stability in respect to different stimuli, both words and images. The slide shows the difference between the two groups of students. The research methods allow to forecast the success of the different educational programs learning by students to find out arising difficulties in time to organize psycho-correctional and consultative work.